Good afternoon, everyone. So first and foremost, I would like to thank the Hacktivate uh, team for inviting me. It's an honor. Um, sorry, kalau pakai bahasa Inggris, um, somehow bahasa Indonesia saya kurang bagus. So, <laughs> so pardon me on that. Um, so first and foremost, maybe I would like to uh, con congratulate the students. I think it's definitely an awesome job. Like in four months, you guys are becoming a full stack developer. So congratulations to you guys. So. <coughs> Kalau boleh sharing sedikit um, perjalanan karir ya, mungkin sebelum perjalanan karir, mungkin gimana saya interested in um, computer and technology. So first when I was in primary school, pas SD kelas 4, so primary school for fourth grade. So dapat komputer dari orang tua. So what happens is oh, I got my first box and then you know, in the old days, you still use floppy disk, and then very old technologies, and then game. Well, game is the one that actually brings interest to me. So mind game, and then installing, then happens to be, in the old days, masih belum ada banyak virus. So it, everything just install, yes, 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 click yes, 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 eh, somehow it works. So <laughs> that's interesting. So, and then game got me interested, then, in, play a bit more games, but happens to be one year later, um, ada guru less, so one of my actually homeschool teacher actually knows how to do coding. So he started to actually taught me a bit of coding. So he, he showed me a very simple program, like just doing, you know, Hello World, but he's doing Hello Robin. So which brings me into fascination. I was like, wow, actually I can, print something out and then he shows me actually how to do calculator which is like one plus one two plus two two times two that brings a bit of fascination to me like wow actually computer can do a lot more stuff so um, <coughs> that got me interested and then somehow my school um, dulunya saya di Medan so I was from Sutomo High School so um, that school um, actually provides computer class so actually I joined I participated into that class and then actually my teacher saw some potential in me, so he got me in into the Olympiad team. So that part, it was quite amazing. So pas um, SMP itu, diajarin. Diajarinnya mulai dari apa? Pascal. Wow, begin and. Oh, gua sih ada yang denger ya Pascal. Pernah denger Pascal nggak? Mungkin nggak ya. Sekarang udah keren. Zaman keren, JavaScript, no more Pascal. Go lang, ya. Right? So Pascal and then C++ and so on and so forth. So made a lot of um, game again, like doing snake games and then doing some quiz games and then print out uh, um, a lot of what's called black and white characters, those kind of stuff. Uh, and then I created my first uh, sorting program. Pernah diajarin bubble sort nggak? Ah, pasti ada ya, pas fase 0 atau fase 1 mungkin ya. So yeah, I, I, I got the problem of bubble sort in um, the, pas di SMP. Wah, dikasih tahu caranya pakai apa? Um, secara papan tulis. Then after that, they asked me to actually code the program. I was like, dang, three hours, gak bisa. Aduh, gak bisa lagi. Basically, I, I'm just not there yet. I believe everyone go, gone through that phase, right? So, which is very normal. But apparently, um, once I solve that problem, it brings me excitement. I think every programmer here uh, can relate to me somehow. Like when you guys actually solve one problem, itu kepuasannya beda banget, right? So, uh, that kept me going, going uh, again and again. So, um, to bring me to uh, a stage di mana gua itu, in the end, somehow, got masuk Olimpiade, but went into an accelerated class in SMA. Then, so I left off the programming um, Olympiad, and then went to my accelerated class, then graduated, went to Singapore uh, for computer science study, the NTU. So, <coughs> di sana, actually, I felt very, very small. I, I was like thinking, wah, pertama kali, apalagi ke Singapore, kan? Aduh. Orang-orang pakai bahasa Inggris, jago-jago, ada orang Cina lagi, orang Rusia, wow, they are amazing. Basically, that thing didn't bring me down. Actually, um, this is also something that um, I want to encourage, especially for those new graduates. Um, I think you guys are already amazing. Um, kaya in four months time, you guys can achieve what you are right now. Um, I'm not sure, how, how many of you have background in computer science or programming before? Yang ada? One, two, three, four. Yeah, four. All right. Dari sekolah? 
All right, so some of you went for university. So I'm pretty sure you guys have done some projects before in university. And it happens to me, for me, what brings me right now, right here, with my raw technical skills and knowledge, itu karena I was forced in a situation di mana I have no one to ask for help. Jadi di, di university, I think what makes Hacktivate different from university is also Hacktivate gives you a lot of like practical skills. Di mana kalau di university, they only teach you from the lecture notes. They just read like thing. Then they just give you like one whole project. Just do it, right? There's no guide and everything. So it happens to me as well. So I, I, I think it's pretty much the same everywhere in the world. <laughs> so I hope uh, that does not discourage anyone. But there's one thing that makes people better than the other person. So uh, which I think buat gua sendiri, I was like, I'm afraid to fail. I don't like failing in a subject, right? So usually project, uh, group project consists of like four people. They ask you to build web application or sometimes they ask you to build some NLP projects, natural language processing for those of you who are not sure, some data science stuff. Then somehow I was not lucky enough in university. So my teammates, uh, most of them are free riders and until the the very last minute, you ask them for updates. Hey, what's the update, update of the project? Apparently, there's no one who did anything. So, end up, I have to do all, all the little, little stuff and complete the project. But I thank God for that because actually that's what makes me uh, capable right now. And it's kind of like force you to um, take, take charge. Okay, uh, it's also a good thing to have for every single one of you, especially for anyone here. Karena kalau udah keluar, I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys want to go into the field, getting a real life experience, working. It's the same. You will find some at times, ada orang yang gak bakalan kerjain. I mean like, then you have two choice. You can just leave it like that. Ya udah fail aja barengan. Atau you can take charge and actually, hey, I'll fix it for, I'll take, take up that role and I'll just do it for you guys. Of course, it doesn't mean that you guys have to do it all the time. Especially when you start like leading uh, team and stuff, you guys have to um, train this that person as well. Cuman ketika kita itu di in a team, then you guys to help has to help help them, and with that kalian juga bisa belajar. So that's at least for me. Um, gimana? Um, I got my raw technical skills. Okay, that's a bit uh, about my education background um, and how I got into right here. Cuman um, I would like to actually share as well. I'm, I'm not sure about you guys, but for me, my dream when I was young, actually I um, I wanted to be a doctor, tapi somehow because of the love in, in games and computer, actually it shifted me towards the direction of computer science. And right now, I don't think I, don't, I want to be a doctor anymore. I prefer to be a programmer. I prefer to be a technical guy. I think uh, tech is something that will change the world and it is a competitive advantage that every company should have. So <coughs> right now, when I think about um, technology, well, um, there are a lot of things that you can do. Like I have aspiration. So the aspiration from becoming doctor to become programmer right now is not really a programmer, but, but someone at, yeah. So I changed the direction. I want to create my own startup. I want to create my own uh, business um, related to tech. And then with that, actually, I failed before. I started my own uh, startup before I joined Terralight, before I even worked uh, professionally. So I created some uh, smart pet feeder. I, I, it's very similar to what you guys are doing, like some MVP stuff, basically um, IoT stuff, IoT related stuff. You, you can feed the pet like remotely, and then you can monitor it. Um, do some analysis on it, so and so forth, um, and then uh, failed because of some manufacturing problem um, and scaling problem, which is a very good uh, learning experience. So, in the end, yeah, because of that, I I switch back to the professional career. Di mana ya udahlah, cari gaji dulu, cari pengalaman dulu, baru balik lagi kalau bisa. So. I set my goal, I changed my goal again, which is very normal, okay? So at when you're young, you sometimes don't know like what you want to, to, to be. So I set my goal to, okay, I wanna go to Google. 
I want to uh, work at Google one day because I think it's an amazing company, right? So right before I graduated, I actually applied to two companies. First is Google, and then second is JP Morgan. So that was, that was my first career. So in Google, I failed. <laughs> so I um, went through the interview like seven rounds or so, and then um, they ended up rejecting me. So in the end, I went into JP Morgan. JP Morgan is an investment bank, and it's one of the top investment banks in the world. So I, I joined the tech team, which gives me a lot of experience, I would say, um, because um, pas kuliah itu, when you guys are studying, I think uh, the criticality of the code is not that high. So your, your task is kind of like, okay, I'll just complete the task, and it's something for me to show to the professor, to grade, right? Then that's it. After that, psh, 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 done. So, um, ada bug, nggak apa-apa lah. Yang penting, profesornya nggak tahu. <laughs> I'm pretty sure some of you will do this later. <laughs> I'll just turn blind one eyes, okay? So, uh, that, that happens to me, right? So, but in JP Morgan or in any company, right? Um, especially right now in Terralite, um, we are dealing with financial stuff as well. So, data integrity is very important and stability is very important. So, pas dulu di JP Morgan, first time, I was scolded a lot because, you know, when you're young and when you just first start your career, you just want to do things quick, bang, show it the result to the boss, bang, show the result to the boss. Then I was scolded, hey, where's your test? Hey, have you tested this? So a lot of questions, a lot of, uh, not scolding, but a lot more advice, I would say. So that part made me realize actually, um, Speed is important uh, as a young pe first person because you need to be productive, right? But at the same time, um, the sense of ownership, the sense of ownership must be there. Okay, uh, mm, you guys have to understand okay, the criticality of the project that you guys are holding later. Whatever project it is, apakah kalian termasuk Gojek, masuk Tokopedia, it's fine. Whatever you do, do it well. I mean, like, jangan cuma kerja selesai done, but do tasks, do take care, and because it's an art, programming is an art, jadi, in a sense, kalau kamu udah masuk, udah deploy, that will reside in the code like for a very long time, ya kan? So, when you look back three months later, sometimes you will find, kenapa gua nulisnya kayak gini ya? It's, it looks a bit stupid, but that, that means that you guys are growing, so keep growing on that. So, <coughs> uh, with that being said, I would say, um, find, sense of ownership is um, very crucial. Jadi, um, for me, myself, that brings me into the level of excellence yang the JP Morgan, they promoted me to actually lead, lead the team. And then I moved to a commodities trading team um, di mana um, building pricing applications for traders. It means that it's even much more crucial. So things yang kadang gua kerjain dua hari, they asked me to test like for like, contohnya, your line of code is just 10, 10 lines of code but your test is 100 lines. So I'm pretty sure some of you are being taught like unit testing, right? But the emphasis maybe have to be, uh, uh, I will say that you guys will experience later in your company. It will be more like, dimana kayak 10 lines of code, the criticality, yeah, you test it with 100 lines of code. So the test case is even much more. So that is also something very interesting. Cuman moving forward, um, before I joined Terralite, actually, I almost went into YouTube. So I got an offer from YouTube, which is part of Google. Um, one learning experience that I got from there is, um, no matter where you go, right? Um, you, sometimes whatever things that you guys get, the job that you guys get, or the tasks you guys get, might not be related to your, your interests, but there's always learning experience that you can get. So continue to work on that because that will actually um, bring that expertise um, down. So I will see a career as a T-shaped career, T-shaped career, so T. So if you go horizontally, it's, it means that it's your breath, knowing the domain knowledge, uh, why one thing works another with another, how, how things work with one another. And while the vertical is actually talking about the, um, the raw technical thing in one specific domain. Contohnya kalau kalian JavaScript ya, JavaScript, JavaScript makin jago gitu kan. But 
uh, a white uh, basically the horizontal one is gimana kayak oh which one should I use what kind of technology should I pick those kind of stuff so continue to explore don't stop learning um, and apparently it got me uh, an offer from YouTube right so which is like my dream job like okay masuk ke dalam Google kan uh, but apparently I rejected the offer because um, I chose Terralite well for some specific reason you can ask me questions later if you guys have chance so um, due to the uh, reason of time um, <coughs> But long story short, um, even after that, I was, after I joined like Terralite, it do, well, I, I'm a VP of technology, but doesn't mean that I know everything, right? So do I, do I still learning? Do I still keep on learning? Yes, I do. So uh, I would say um, as a closing statement is don't stop learning here. I'm like, Hacktivate is just, I'm like, the, your graduation right now, it's just the start of everything. It's not the end, right? So, for me myself, dulu itu nggak ada hacktivate. So dulu itu mungkin nggak ada stack overflow bahkan, right? It's like so hard to actually learn. Right now, in four months' time, you guys can be a full stack developer. For me, it doesn't take that much, uh, that short time. It takes me longer, more time, right? Mungkin dalam empat bulan, I can only do HTML. Dalam empat bulan lagi, maybe just some server side. Cuman gak ada authentication-nya. <laughs> so, so th those kind of things. So I think r right now, Hacktivate has been a very good platform. Dimana kayak bring you to be a full stack developer. But you guys shouldn't stop there. Right? So you guys are being your, if you can actually draw your T-shaped career. Now you get all the breath, a, a little bit of that. But I wouldn't, um, I will encourage you guys to actually go even deeper. Uh, and then look into libraries. Um, um, involved in the like, open source projects so that you guys can strengthen your technical skills and then as time goes by interact with a lot more people network with a lot of more people um, because after you work uh, you might realize that hey actually I don't have a lot more time to actually mingle around but don't stop there join meetups uh, continue to connect with the um, students and activate, be a good alumni, right? Uh, continue to give back to the society because you don't know when it will come back to you. At least that's what happened to me. Um, at first, before I joined Terralite full time, actually I'm helping like from the site, like without any pay. So it's just a help. Then um, in the end, they offered me a job. Then I was like, yes, let's do it. So with that being said, uh, don't stop here. Uh, always be curious. Stay humble because it doesn't mean that after you graduate, you know everything. So always look to learn from someone else, um, whatever it is. And if you can give it back to others, do, do it. Because when you teach someone, actually it gives you much more um, knowledge, right? So with that being said, uh, I thank you. Um, and congratulations. Again.